Hello guys and welcome back to Betterment Crypto. So in this video, we're just going to be going to learn how to sell your NFTs on OpenSea. So without further ado, let's just get started. So for those who don't know what OpenSea is, is it's essentially the main NFT trading platform on Ethereum. So if you have an NFT that is on the Ethereum blockchain, and you want to buy or sell or trade them or bid for them, this is the main place where all of that's happening. So all of the um, Board 8 Yacht Club, um, any crypto punks, all of that, it's going to be happening on this website. Um, I'd say the large majority of NFT trades that happen on Ethereum are on this website. So in this video, we're not going to be going too much into detail about um, you know the general aspect of OpenSea, but rather how to sell your NFTs on OpenSea if you already have some. So assuming you already have some NFTs, you're just going to want to go to OpenSea.io, just like that. Um, if you hit that, you'll be directed to this page and that's what you want. Um, for me though, just because this is a demonstration video, I'm going to be using the testnet um, of OpenSea. So you shouldn't be doing this, but this is just an example because I don't want to uh, buy and sell actual NFTs using real Ethereum, especially with the gas fees and all of that. So, you will be on this website, and I will be on this one. <laughs> it's the exact same website in every aspect, except it's a different chain. So this is a test chain. You can get Ethereum, um, kind of like airdrops, um, and this one is just the same website. But what you first want to do is you're going to go over here. Actually, I'll log out, so it will look like this. If you're logged out, uh, you'll see this, and it'll say profile, favorites, my collections, all this. You're just going to hit profile. From here, it's going to say connect your wallet. So I'm assuming most of you have MetaMask, but they have a ton of options. And I mean a ton of options. Um, if any of your NFTs are on here, you just click whichever one you're on. But MetaMask is the most popular, I think. And that's what we'll be doing. So I'm just going to click MetaMask. And I should get a pop-up right here. So um, these are going to be your MetaMask accounts. You just want to click whichever one that you have, and it should be automatically selected on the one that you most recently have open. Um, you can select all if you want. I'm just going to select this one account, um, whichever one the NFT is on. Then you can hit next, and then uh, it's just going to ask, view the addresses of your permitted accounts. That's required, and you're just going to hit connect. And from there, you are connected. So this is your profile. It's your account. And if you have any NFTs, you should see them right here, which I do. Um, so again, to get to this, if you're on the main page, you're going to go to hover over this profile, or you can just simply go to my collections and it'll show here. Um, another way is just profile and you'll scroll down and you'll see the ones you've collected. Um, so once you're here, you will see all of your NFTs. Just for the purposes of this video, I just have one. Um, and this is just something I called Test Sunday. So what you want to do is, um, you can see lots of different things here. So you can see ones that have been created. I actually just created this a few minutes ago um, on OpenSea. Um, you can see favorited, hidden. You can see any recent activity. Um, so you can see the recent activity I had is just, I created it 14 minutes ago, minted. Um, and then you can see any offers. So you can see offers you've made and offers you've received. So what you're going to do is go to collected and just click on your NFT. And once you've clicked on your NFT, you'll be greeted with this screen. So you can see the amount of views that you've had on your NFT. Uh, I guess this one is just the one view of myself. Um, you can see any price history. So again, this one doesn't have any price history because I just made it. But if you had bought an NFT that had been traded around a little bit, you'd see a graph here of the different price history. Then you'd see a description, offers, if you got any offers, and all of this. Um, there's really a lot of details on here, and it's pretty good. Um, it's really good to see all the details, and just so you know, especially if you're someone who's actively trying to trade NFTs, it's very convenient uh, to just have all of this data in one place. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to sell this NFT. So we're just going to hit this big blue sell button right here at the top right. 
And once we do that, you'll see it's not just as simple as hitting a sell button and it's sold. Um, because what it is, it's, it's kind of like an auction system. You can kind of think of it as eBay for um, NFTs. So you've got things like auctions that you can do and you can put out a fixed price. It's two different types. Um, so you either choose timed auction or you choose fixed price. So also I'll show you both of these methods. Um, the first one, I'll just do fixed price. And this would mean it's just one price. So let's say I price this at one Ethereum. Um, and then that's it. I can choose how long it's up for. So duration. Um, after this, it would just stop being listed. I'll just say um, six months. That's fine. And uh, if you hit more options, you'll see sell as a bundle. If you're not selling it as a bundle, you don't have to worry about this. Um, but you can add more items to this if you're trying to sell multiple things. So let's say I wanted to sell three NFTs in one. I could add multiple NFTs by hitting add item and add the other NFTs that I have. I'm not seeing any because I don't have any other NFTs. Um, th this is the only one I have. But if I were to have other ones and I wanted to have it, you can think of it kind of like a gift basket where you're just putting uh, a bunch of things in and it's just one price. Then you can do that. I'm guessing most people won't want to do that. But if you do do that, you can just hit bundled name. You can type something in and a description. This one is reserved for a specific buyer. So you're going to want to check this if, you know, again, if you're trying to reserve it for a specific buyer. So what this is going to do is if you paste in the public wallet address and you can get that from your buyer however you'd like. I'll just use mine as an example. What all you have to do is paste that in. And what that's going to do is it's going to only allow this person with the wallet address that you selected to buy your NFT. So it's good if for some reason you wanted to privatize it or, or have it exclusive to a certain wallet address or if, if for something you're doing like a project and you're like, oh, whitelisted members can get this NFT, you can do it that way. The fees, um, this is just a service fee that they take, um, this uh, open seas fee. And that's how you do a fixed price. So again, if I were to hit uh, sell and complete the listing on this, I'll remove sales bundle because I don't have anything else to sell. I'll remove this. Um, it would be up for sale for one Ethereum. It would last for six months. OpenSea would take 2.5%. And I would complete the listing. So by doing that, people would be able to see this. They'd be able to see that they can buy it for one Ethereum. And if they chose to do so, they would be able to buy it. Again, no more, no less than one Ethereum. Uh, it's just a market price. Now, that is the fixed price option. If you want something that's more of an auction feel, um, so it's kind of like you've got a certain amount of time by the end uh, that the time goes up, it goes to the highest bidder, then that is where this timed auction type comes into play. So if you click this, you'll see different methods. Uh, this is the most common method, or I, I guess I could say the most commonplace, um, selling to the highest bidder. And that would mean if, uh, let's say, someone bids uh, one Ethereum, someone bids two, and then the timer ends and it's the highest is two, this NFT would be sold to that uh, higher spinner. I think you all know what that means. What this means is it sells with a declining price. So you might be wondering what this option is. And it's, it's somewhat unique. Um, instead of having something go to the highest bidder and whoever bids the highest by a certain amount wins, this is constantly going down in price. So let's say I had a starting price of, I'll put in 10 Ethereum. And the lowest I wanted it to go is 0.1. Then what would happen is it would start at 10 Ethereum and slowly over the duration of, you can set the duration here, um, you can do it range with calendar, um, but let's just say for the purposes of this, seven days. Slowly but surely, seven days, it's going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, something like that, until someone buys it. So let's say it keeps going down, and then on the fourth day, it's around 5 Ethereum or so, and then someone buys it then it's theirs. So it's a really interesting way of doing it because it, it might be um, counterintuitive. You might think, oh, well, the price is just keep going to keep going down. Why are people going to want to buy it at a high price if they know it's going to be down in the next minute? 
But then you think about, oh, everyone else is trying to outcompete one another. So whoever's the first one to buy it, they secure it. Um, even if it's a high price, by buying it at that high price, they know they've secured it. Um, really interesting way of doing it, I think. But, you know, whichever method that you're trying to sell, uh, that's what you're going to be doing. I'll just keep it sell to highest bidder, uh, just for now. Then, starting price. This is just the price that the bidding is going to start at. Meaning, uh, if I had the starting price at 0.1 Ethereum, um, and this is wrapped F, that's why it's pink. Um, it doesn't really matter. It all It's the same price as Ethereum, regular Ethereum. Um, so I wouldn't worry about it. It's just kind of a different way of showing it. But um, anyway, if this was the lowest starting price, or the starting price, if I wanted to bid 0 0.05 Ethereum, I wouldn't be able to. The minimum bid is this, or um, just you know a cent above it. And then from there, people have to bid higher and higher. So if someone else bid 0.2 on this, I wouldn't be able to bid 0.1 again. So I don't know why I changed this. If someone bid 0.2 on this, I wouldn't be able to bid 0.1 again. I have to bid 0.2 or something higher than 0.2. Um, I think you all understand how that works. Duration, same thing. You can choose the duration of this um, with a calendar right here. And then um, this is the reserve price. So essentially what this reserve price means is that let's say we have the starting price, um, but we don't want that to be our maximum price. We don't want someone to pay 0 0.10001 and then have it sold. We want something a little higher. Now we're just putting it at that starting price so people can you know, start low, get comfortable, and then bid up. But ideally we'd want it to sell for more. What this reserve price means is if it doesn't hit this certain price by the end of the duration of the auction, it does not get sold. So let's say the reserve price is, I'll say one. Starting price is 0.1, reserve price is one. Meaning, you know what? If it can't sell for at least one Ethereum, I don't want it to sell at all. Um, and what that would do is if the seven days is up and let's say the maximum bid is 0.7, the person who paid 0.7 would not get this NFT if the reserve price was one. Now, if this reserve price was 0.5 and it was uh, they bid 0.7, that's great. They could go above one. Um, the only thing is on OpenSea, you cannot put a reserve price lower than one Ethereum as it currently. Um, it's kind of just an interesting rule, um, something to do with fees, but that's, that's the rule. You can't put something lower than one Ethereum right now for a reserve price. Um, but we'll just keep that off for now. That's just what it is. And then you've got the standard 2.5% fee from OpenSea. And after that, um, you're just going to hit complete listing if you want to sell. So again, just to review, if you want a fixed price, meaning this is how much it costs, you either pay for it or you don't, you'll go to fixed price, type in the price you want, you type in the duration, and then you hit complete listing. And we have the more options of sell as a bundle and reserving for a specific buyer, a specific address. And for a timed auction, what you would do is you can choose uh, the method selling to highest bidder or selling with the declining price. You would choose the starting price, choose the duration. Uh, you can include the reserve price, meaning it has to sell at that price. And then you would complete listing. So I think it's enough talk. Let's actually complete this listing. So I'll just do a simple, boring, uh, fixed price. What do you think is fair? 1,000 Ethereum for this one? Uh, again, this is testnet Ethereum. <laughs> and we'll set the duration at, I'll do ending on February 9th, 29 days. Um, in terms of more options, I don't want to sell as a bundle. I can't. And I don't feel like reserving it for a specific buyer, so I'll keep those off. Then I'll hit complete listing. From there, it might take a little minute, and you should get this pop-up on your MetaMask. So what you're going to do is just hit Confirm. And uh, this may take a little while, especially um, if you're on the mainnet, because I'm on the testnet, this might be a little quicker. Um, but yeah, you're just going to have to wait a little bit. So I'll just fast forward this until it's done. All right, it's done. That only took a few seconds. And now what you're going to do is just hit Sign. 
and this just confirms the listing. And that's it. So now it is listed. I can share my item. Um, I'll copy the link here. And then I can view the item. So just I'll hit this button that says view item. And here it is. Uh, for a very reasonable price of 1000 Ethereum, this Sunday could be yours. So that's the end of the video. I hope this helped you with uh, learning how to sell your NFTs on OpenSea. Again, this was on the testnet, but it's the exact same process um, on OpenSea.io, which is the website that you will be using if you want uh, actual Ethereum on this. Um, and yes, I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for tuning into Betterment Crypto, and we'll see you in the next one.